Hey now, hey now, the dream is over. J.C. Treader, the apple of Minnesota Fighting Vikings eyes, can he play center? Qu- question mark. He has decided to retire uh, after nine seasons in the National Football League, and it's unfortunate. Where health issues, knee, ankle, everything just sort of caught up with him. Uh, he was a stud last year, played in every game except for one. He missed one due to COVID, uh, but he didn't practice last season. Had a myriad of injuries and just decides to call it a day. Uh, and, and I do respect that. And he had a very lengthy goodbye uh, to the city of Cleveland, as well as his teammates and all that good stuff, right? And the the dream of Treader with the Vikings, it, it, it seems like uh, apparently it was a pipe dream because uh, a lot of the steam, whether it was uh, from Kevin Seifert, from ESPN, who is not Carl Gerbschman, Darren Doogie Wolfson, KSTP Sports, is that the Vikings were never really fully in on J.C. Treader. Uh, and they said Roba Garrett, Bradbury, and company. Uh, Seifert tweeted this out, LOL. Nah. Uh, Treader uh, told SI uh, in an article that just came out today uh, that he targeted the Vikings as a possible 2022 destination because he grew up rooting for them, but Minnesota never returned our call. Uh, if the Vikings ever had a plan B in mind at center and behind Garrett Bradbury, it wasn't J.C. Treader. So, I, I mean, it made sense. Logically, on paper, him coming over in a similar scheme, uh, a veteran who was let go due to cap reasons in Cleveland, and like, like we said, he had health issues. He was barely able to practice last season, played well in the games, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, and as we said, we, we trusted Quasey's decision here because Quasey was in the building in Cleveland for the last two years with J.C. Treader. He would know his health. He would know his personality. He would know his performance. He, he would know everything. So the fact that uh, uh, J.C. Treader was just floating out there as a free agent and the Vikings had clear issues at center and he was just like, ah, nah. Now, nah, that does speak volume. So I'm going to roll with Quasey, trusting his judgment so far, and we'll trust him on this one as well. So the Vikings center competition, it is coming down to Bradbury, as well as uh, veteran Chris Reed, even though he's dealing with uh, an elbow injury. And then also uh, Austin Schlutman uh, coming over from the Broncos. That's a Dutch pronunciation. So I, you know... I'm just really hoping that Bradbury gets it together. Uh, it's not impossible where a player can start off their career rather poorly, but a regime change, a scheme change, a whatever change, as well as getting some competency next to him uh, at the guard positions. Maybe, Mama, I can change him with Bradbury. Uh, that was the thinking with Quasi O'Connell, uh, Chris, uh, uh, with uh, Chris Cooper and company, but. I don't know. Uh, I guess there are contingency plans, but one of those contingency plans is not going to be J.C. Treader. Although, I mean, football retirements. Are, are sort of whatever at this point. I mean, Edelman's retired 17 times. Same thing with Gronk. Same thing with Brady. So bring back that love and feeling. I mean, say, say that Bradbury is ass. Thank you. And the Vikings can't figure something out at center by week, I don't know, seven. But they're still in the thick of things. J.C. Treader, bah, God. That's his music. I don't know. I don't know, man. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. The apple of Vikings uh, free agency, I, J.C. Treader. Well, the fan, uh, us fans at least, but uh, he retires. He gone. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once support the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.